bro. Was a little. Uh, my Discord died, so. Uh, yeah. Oh, fair enough. Okay, here we go. Can yes. you see my screen? I can see your screen. Awesome. Oh, no. Yeah. Right, yeah. Okay, here we go. Solo queue. Oh, no. Okay. I'm not a proud man, but I'm trying, man. <laughs> oh, what? so what's going on here? What do you think? I think I'm dying too much, dude. <laughs> I mean, I went a game where I went 20 to 5 with Draven and I carried that shit hard, but. You know, clearly they mm -hmm. were too heavy for me, so... Mm -hmm. I know right, you so say not uh... to blame your team, but... Sometimes the team's gotta be blamed. <laughs> if you say so, if you say so. So which which one of these do you want to start with? Which one of these replays? Um... I mean the class game, I guess. Okay, good, good. Alright, so, yeah, what's, what's on your mind for League? You know, you say there's like a lot of deaths going on. Do you think it's like in the laning phase, out of laning phase, during team fights, or is it just everything? I think it's just everything. I mean, like, I panic a lot, I guess, mm -hmm. when I'm playing the game because I want to do so well and I want to do the right. <clears throat> but um, yeah, I guess I just hesitate too much at the game. Okay, okay. Uh, do you think we should talk about this section here? Yeah. What, what, what part? Of, what would you? What would you tell yourself here? Um, I'm pushing it in too much. I'm not respecting them. Not sure. Well, is, is there a problem here? What do you think? Yeah, I'm getting poked down. <laughs> yeah, okay. So, uh, <laughs> you know, how, how is this happening? Uh, Jinx is using her rockets on me. Right. So, uh, what well, is she using it on you or what is she using it on? Near the minions. All right. So, is there any kind of solution we can come up with here? Don't go near the minions, I guess. Okay, you could say that, right? Yeah, you know, yeah. don't go near the minions because she's gonna splash damage you. Now, why did you walk mm -hmm. near the minions? Um, because I wanted to farm. Yeah. So here's here's this is a classic. Um, okay. Sometimes if you haven't played against Jinx in a while, you'll forget this, right? But uh, mm -hmm. you know, there are certain things we need to watch out for when we're trying to farm, right? Right. So, for example, in this lane, what are those certain things? Mm-hmm. What What are they? So, so just like respecting her damage and knowing when to go in i guess mm. am i wrong no here's sure. like a hint like what are they gonna do when you try and farm they're gonna attack me okay so can they do that thing and win and how are they gonna do it when i'm going for the minion uh yeah well, uh, how uh, how are they gonna do it specifically i guess because there's only a specific way to do it right it's not like jinx is gonna run up and use minigun Right? No. That's not that's not gonna happen because then you beat her up. Mm -hmm. So how how are they going to attack you? So they're gonna outrange me and poke okay. me down. Things can do that. Anything else? Um not that I can think of honestly. Well what about their support? Is their support gonna be AFK? Well no, but um Karma I feel like Yeah, I guess she does damage. But this is this is Lulu, right? Oh yeah, it's Lulu. My bad, my bad. So what is Lulu gonna do? Shield her, uh, poke, give her attack speed. Mm, is that the most common way? Is that what you see in lane? I see something yeah. else in lane when I play against Lulu. What do you see? Well, you don't see Lulu walking up to you to try and press E on you? Yeah, true that, true that. You haven't seen that. that one before? I mean, yeah, that one, that one happens pretty frequently. Yeah, I mean, but she's level 1, so... I mean, you're level 1 too, right? Yeah. So it's very much a, you know, you show, yeah, she's going to shield your her ADC, right? Maybe she can attack you. But it's mm -hmm. kind of, maybe this is something, if this happens a lot in lane, maybe mm -hmm. you want to be thinking about how is the enemy going to, you know, do their thing to you while you push minions, right? Like how much, how many brain cells does it take to hit minions? You're already gold, right? Yeah, so exactly. No, it's, how, it's easy, it, it but, takes nothing yeah. almost, right? Um, mm -hmm. It takes almost no effort, hopefully, right? Yeah. To, uh, to, to touch minions. Now, it takes brain power to not figure out what they're doing though and what your yeah. support is doing so that's yeah. kind of that might be something you're seeing here if you know you take a lot of damage in lane or if you die in lane right like check it mm -hmm. out while you're killing this minion what is lulu doing she's just poking me down and getting me low right did you know that was coming no, no. yeah <laughs> and why is it it's just because you wanted a minion right so yeah it's, yeah, it's good that you want a minion. On CS. Yeah. yeah yeah it's good that you it's good it's good to have a focus on cs and then you need to add mm -hmm. an extra layer on top of this so right so here's the here's like a, a new habit you could insert here. Let's say you want a minion, right? Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. the problem is they're gonna try and attack us when we want a minion. So what's a new habit we can insert here every time we get the urge to last hit? 
um, know what they're going to do first. Perfect, right? So anything like poke, anything like, I mean, you know, if this is fucking Blitz and Thresh, you know, the reason mm -hmm. why a lot of people have problems with Blitz, Blitz Thresh, Leona, Alistar, whatever, is because right. they just, you know, go on them and they're like, oh, you know, I didn't I didn't know that was going to happen. But they've seen it a million times, right? So they, they should know, right? So you need to come yeah, up with some exactly. kind of... Yeah, they definitely so got to come up with some kind of strategy. Yeah, plan yeah, like, exactly. What they're gonna do. And okay. it's not like it's not like you have to plan for twenty different things. There's literally two ways they're gonna do it. Like, mm -hmm. he, like he told us, the rockets and the, mm -hmm. the Lulu presses E, right? Yeah. <laughs> the Lulu presses Q. And if anything else, the reason why they don't do it is why? Why don't we have to plan for some other stuff? Um, I don't know. To be honest with you. So I'm let's kind say of brain dead right now. I'm not let's really say right. Jinx switches to minigun and runs you down. Right. That's like a different thing she could do. Why? Why does yeah. she not do this? Um, because she knows that if she runs me down, I'm obviously gonna attack her back, right? Yeah. So is, does she win that? No, she doesn't. Yeah, she she runs it down. She runs it down into your minions, <laughs> and you just kill her, right? So that's yeah, why we exactly. don't have to. We don't have to plan for everything. We have to plan for what you think their best move is. Okay. Right? And if they have a really bad move, you don't care because you naturally win, right? You just right. take the Okay, so kill, only right? the moves where they would beat you in the situation, you have to be Yeah, consistent. yeah. Everything else, right. hopefully you'll be able to react appropriately, right? Like them running yeah. it down, right? So well yeah, this is this is a classic case of they're gonna do some inting strat and then um you just beat them up. Like for example, let's say let's say this is a classic actually. If you are standing here and they have an Alistair or Leona, mm -hmm. I won't play like they're gonna combo me. Because mm -hmm. if they combo me, they're tanking tower, right? Yeah, yeah. And then I just kill them, which you know actually has happened before for some reason. So <clears throat> that's, <laughs> that's 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 just like an example, right? So yeah. yeah, that's that's kind of what you you you're looking for here, right? And you oh, can right. even go like even like deeper levels of complexity, right? So let's say let's say if you have no jungle, you have to be afraid of alley combo, but your mm -hmm. jungle is here, so you're not planning for alley combo. You're planning for Alistair Q flash to headbutt you back into his team, right? Yeah. So yeah. just some just some like examples. Okay. Cool, well, yeah, cool. you see what's going on here, right? <clears throat> yeah. What is this? Um, the I saw the Jinx going on the Velcro, so I just decided to try and attack her. I think that's what I did here. Uh, well, I went well, for the well, minion uh, first. Yeah, yeah, you went for the minion. So what happens if you go for the minion? Uh, I get gold <laughs> and XP. Uh huh. Well, what happens after you kill the minion? Um another minion comes and i kill that minion well based on what we were talking about in the last five minutes right jinx is gonna try run it down yeah they're gonna try and kill you right so mm -hmm. is there any problem here uh yeah there is quite a big problem to be honest all right so it's like you would have to say oh if your jungle is coming like you're trying to bait here right so maybe mm -hmm. you're trying to bait for your jungler you would have to say can he you know, win if we do this, and I would probably say probably not, right? But yeah, probably. You know, not, yeah. <clears throat> it's just the things that that which this is just the kind of it looks like this is the kind of thing you're struggling with in lane. Right? Oh, this is just a wasted gank. Feels bad. Man. Yeah. So yeah, I this mean, is uh. Like, every <clears throat> like early game, I win. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't win every early game, but most early games I outplay my opponent. It's just when it gets to mid and late, I really struggle. Mm -hmm. Like I know here mm -hmm. I'm making mistakes, but um, like. In early game, I feel like I do pretty well for my okay. ego. Obviously, yeah, there's a lot of lot of room for improvement, but uh, I feel like I struggle more with mid to late game and knowing what to do around the map. If that good makes to sense. hear, good to hear. Then I and then I'm sure we'll see some plenty of examples when the mid game rolls around. Oh, here we go. There's yeah. something spicy going on. Oh, she got hit. Let's go, yeah, baby. She got hit. <clears throat> nice try. Oh, oh, you can kill her. Hey, let's get out of here. Nice. And oh. Boom. Uh, well, you know, just in case, you know? Yeah, kind of, uh, yeah. <clears throat> Honestly, not, not, uh, not too bad. Oh, no, the tier first. Yeah, I saw, you know what, I used to go Storm Razor, but everyone's telling me to go Merry Man now, so I just go with that. Sure, sure. I think, uh, if you do go Merry Man now, you probably, you, you'll probably enjoy the pickaxe first more than the, uh, the tier. But, yeah, uh, true. That's just me. Okay, sure. Yeah, I mean, Let's keep going. Yeah. Sure, sure, sure. Everything is good. You can just push him in. Oh, Lulu's like no HP. Nice. This is uh, this is kind of awkward, right? 
Yeah, yeah, it is. I mean, she's really <laughs> blown up. I really wanted to kill her there. Well, well, well uh, is this a problem? Or not really a problem? Um, I don't know what I could have done better. I could have, you know, just waited until one of them was low enough and then used my W. Like, right after I used it, I could have used it. So I, I should have waited like... on my... Don't worry about like killing I them. I want you to watch like this this part here. Mm -hmm. This is the dude on Discord who's scheduled for coaching this coming Monday. Have a great day. What do you think? Um, not focused on my character. <laughs> so what happened to your uh, what happened to your character? So yeah, um, I think I ran out. Wait, what actually did happen there? Did I attack Jinx yeah, because or like, did like, the? Yeah. All right. Because you're saying this is happening often enough that I think we know how you're going to be dying later on. Mm-hmm. Ah, uh, yeah. I, I how much HP do we lose? A lot. Like 600 HP, right? Yeah, not so worse. How did that? How did that? How did that happen? Um, <laughs> I went on the turret. Uh huh. What were you trying to do? I was trying to greed. I'm I'm a very greedy player. That's the thing about me. But like, what are you uh, trying to do? I, I, what does what does greed mean? I, I don't. I, to be honest, I don't know what I was trying I have, to do. I have no idea what you're trying to do either, right? Even yeah, though we can I, see your mouse movements, you're like, maybe. So this is maybe you're like, if she turns around, you can flash auto attack or some crazy shit. I don't. I don't know, right? But uh, yeah, I, but, uh, I, I was just yeah. I don't know what I was planning to do on the turret there. To be honest, right? So this is actually a common. This is actually a common pattern you see is if you're not sure what you're trying to do. But right. you're still walking up. This is like a habit, right? Mm. You might be trying to fight mm. or do something, but you don't have a clear plan of what you're trying to do. And then, yeah. you know, remember how we talked about why don't we plan for certain things the enemy can do is because, you know, it's inting if they do it, right? Yeah. So, yeah, you know, correct. this is like us, but in reverse, right? It's like, mm. oh, she's just going to hit you and you, you can't do anything about it, right? In fact, I'm yeah. surprised you didn't die under tower here because you took tower aggro. <laughs> you yeah. got hit by the traps, right? As well. But yeah. if you watch after, interestingly enough, I think I killed the E. Yeah, that's uh, Pretty he's gonna sure. run it down too, right? <laughs> yeah, he's gonna he's gonna in. He's gonna oh, in all we have to do it. is flash after he queues, and we're good to go. Oh, not even. Very nice. Very, yeah. So I mean, they're they're inting now here. So I, was, I mean, I guess you could say 200 IQ debate, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. I was uh, debating them all along. Oh no. <laughs> right, let's fast forward. Let's fast forward. Let's see what's, what else is going on here. So okay, you know, laning phase is actually going. <laughs> Pretty yeah. well, you know. Two and all, two and all, you know. Yeah. Not bad. Sure, sure, sure. Okay, and then uh, we'll probably go home soon, right? Mm -hmm. Fast forward, fast forward. Okay, what the hell? We're trying to go for some dive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I saw the chat. Jesus trying Christ. To uh, yeah, he's so just... I wanted to follow up. So then, your jungle's yeah. in thing. Nice. Nice. Okay, That's let's go home here. Jesus Christ. <laughs> all right, all right. That's fine, right? No problem. Yeah, I mean, you know, their jungle ins, so your jungle ins, everything is fair, right? Right, exactly. Everything is balanced, so no problem, no problem. Okay, let's push this in. Sure, sure, sure. Man, you really want to hit this tower. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm a greedy player. That's that's my main problem. People have told me. Because so I have a group of friends I play with, mm -hmm. and they always tell me not to go in, and I always do. <laughs> so. <laughs> I think that's interesting, a, that's interesting. A I mean, that used to that used to be me too, to be honest. So, oh really? <laughs> I know where you're coming from, you know. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Everything is good. Yeah. If there's a uh, a really really important habit that you could uh, start developing, it is definitely when you want something, yeah. figure out how they're gonna try and stop you, right? Because you know. Okay. I mean, I just mentioned this because. You you approached the tower like five times this game, right? Yeah. And every time you've approached, this has happened, right? What is this? Boom, <laughs> right? We're taking hits for some reason, right? <laughs> yeah. So yeah. it's it's actually just every time, but um, uh, that that might be something you want to look at, all right? In the laning phase, okay. it's like a very important skill because you know, do you think the enemy team is doing this? Do they know what you're gonna do? They don't really know what you're gonna do. No, right? no. I mean, it's called Elo. No one knows what they're doing. You can get the like yeah. people in the diamond level don't don't know this, all right? So if you can oh, start developing real? it early, like yeah, oh, like there are people like season nine, like season nine masters, grandmasters. These guys don't know. <laughs> these guys don't know what they're doing, right? So, yeah. um, you if you Here, can start I'm developing it this early, you can do really yeah. well. Okay. Um, cool. Okay. Let's definitely talk about this. This is this is important. This is actually uh, also Kaisa specific too. Mm-hmm. So what do you think is going on here? 
so I missed my W and then I dived and then I couldn't uh, turret dive her because obviously I'm going to tank here and right. I healed and I died. Right, so what's the what's the problem uh, here? I inted. That's the problem. I inted hard. Uh, let's talk about like the in terms of like the play itself though right like why is it why did why is it into how come we didn't kill him right um so i didn't quite calculate how much damage i actually did to her and she was ah. a lot higher health than i expected <laughs> right? so how does then, how does kaiser kill people so what i usually do is i lead in with my w then i o q e auto attack that's usually sure. what i do but, yeah but how, how does but how does kaiser kill people What's necessary stacks. to kill someone? With their stacks. So mm -hmm. if she procs passive, that's an indicator you're going to kill someone, right? Yeah. Anything else? Um, obviously her abilities, right? Mm, which ones? And I mean, your E doesn't really do damage, right? Q At and least... W mainly. Ah, Q and W. So what about your Q? What about your W? So your Q hits multiple targets. If the target's low, it right? focuses at one Estimated target. Q is insane. Your W gives you two stacks on your passive. Right, perfect. Every three right. upgraded. All right, so we figured out there's kind of two slash three ways to kill someone, mm -hmm. right? With Kaisa. Did we do any right. of those? No, we did not. There it is, right? So what do you have left? Just auto attacks, right? Mm -hmm. So if you take a look at this, can you kill her with just auto attacks? No, if I hit my W, I probably would have killed her. Right, so that's it, right? So that's yeah. it, is that you didn't have a way to kill them. You try to do it anyways, so you die, right? So this is, this is actually some kind of Kaiser specific idea. Uh, but it's not necessarily related to just Kaiser because some ADCs will, later on team fights, you're going to try and kill backline champions, right? When you see an opportunity, you're going to yeah, need to know exactly. exactly how where your damage comes from, right? So mm -hmm. this is just one of those things where if you ulti in, you need to know how you can kill this guy. Wait, you, yeah, you physically exactly. can't kill this guy, right? So you can yeah, say you like, oh, they have mind. exhaust or whatever, but you, this is just impossible anyways, right? Um, yeah. Yeah, that's just a uh, thing to note is, you know, make sure you know exactly where your maximum damage potential comes from. Cool. Right? I'm going to roll this What's down on notepad, by the way, if you don't mind. No, 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 of course, of course. And I'll have this on YouTube so you can go back and rewatch as well. Oh, nice, nice. So as you're going, but yeah, so far it is very much... We, do you see a common theme in your gameplay? Um, yeah, I, I just feel like I agreed to way too much and I play super aggressive when I ah, don't need to. For example? Right there, yeah. <laughs> right, so <laughs> there's a common theme of you're always trying to do something but it backfires in your face sometimes, right? Yeah. So most of the time, yeah. Mo yeah, yeah. I was kind of I was trying to be generous, but yeah, most of the time it yeah. backfires in your face, right? So yeah. it's kind of uh, how do we make sure that you have good instincts? You you should be trying to do something, right? Or you should you should look to try and do something, right? Otherwise, yeah. how will you ever get these opportunities? But exactly. Uh, but uh, we're we're missing like a buffer, you know, a buffer in between what we think and what we do, right? right. So like, if you think, oh, maybe I could do something, and you do it immediately. But you forget about to check the jungle or maybe mm -hmm. they have flash or they have heal or whatever but you mm -hmm. do it anyways that's where problems might arise right okay so, so that's, that's kind of what we're seeing here okay. yeah Is basically have... like mm -hmm. in simple terms don't go in blind yeah like, like yeah doing... yeah okay. like here's an example right there when i saw she had stacks what was i, I thinking yeah i could have went in and killed her well uh, that's what we're thinking is can yeah. i ulti in auto q isolated q is this good Right, mm. we can. This is our like considering phase, right? Yeah. So like me in the past, I would just go in immediately, but this is not good. You know, you can actually calculate this doesn't make sense. For example, you go in, you auto Q. Lily's gonna like flash EQ you, or she, and then she's gonna ulti Jinx. We got a problem because Velkaz can't help us, right? So yeah. We can like calculate this, but uh, how do we how do we know if this is good or not? We won't know unless we ask ourselves before we do it, right? Yeah. So I'm thinking the exact same thing you are. Can we kill this guy? And then I would come to the conclusion we can't. Right. Yeah, we can't. So we want to do low, it. Then it's It's just yeah, no. Right. It's, not. Yeah, exactly, exactly. It doesn't look good enough. Yeah. Right? Think about it. Think about the game in terms of you have a certain amount of chances to impact the game favorably, right? Right. And so if you use that chance 
and it doesn't work out, it's really bad, right? So you would rather hold on to your chance, which is, you know, we'll say your ulti here, right? Hold yeah. on to your game-changing abilities to make sure you get a good outcome, right? right. And uh, when in doubt, we would prefer to not use it, right? It's not like, you don't, you don't really, if you get to like gold, you've pretty much seen everything there is to see in terms of the basic stuff, right? You've seen, you know, yes. let's, let's just take the champions, for example. Oh, Van Gogh's invisible, condemns into a wall. Jax is going to mm -hmm. flash stun. Ari's going to, yeah. you know, all TE flash, right? This is nothing yeah. new. Yeah, we've yeah, all no, seen I've it. Seen right? yeah, yeah. So now it's like, how do we make sure we don't fall for the basic stuff, right? Yeah. So that's kind of, uh, uh, it's kind of like refining your gameplay at this point. Like anyone below gold, that's like, okay, you still got to like figure out what stuff does in the game. Like when I see this, Mm -hmm. is are you ready for this right how do you make this cleaner this might work but i think if you get insta poly you die right so yeah. how do you make this cleaner e if i had my evolved e i would have probably focused lulu queued her and then went on the jinx after so remember well i could get let's, let's keep it more basic let's keep it more I, basic i could get tarry yeah so let's say we want to kill them right mm -hmm. what do we say with the ways kaisa kills people so yeah, the stacks, um, stacks, the Q and the W. The Q, right? Okay, so you know we have we have stacks here. Mm -hmm. So, and then it, when in, when all else fails, we have just auto attacks, right? Exactly. Yeah. So if you go in here, do you have Q? No. So th that that begs the question: Can you finish them with auto attacks? What do you think? Um, probably not. Yeah, that's it. That's that's it. Is can yeah. I finish them with auto attacks? That you're good to go, right? If you say yeah. you can, go for it. And if you say you can't, don't go for it, right? So yeah. I would okay. know you can't because she's gonna polymorph you before you can get three autos in, right? Yeah. It's better safe than sorry. I don't think you can kill her in two auto attacks. We'll say three mm -hmm. auto attacks, right? Okay. And then you also have to consider, uh, you also have to consider heal and exhaust, right? So yeah. it's very much a you just need to take your time when you go for these plays, right? Oh, yeah. and then it's like, oh. into it. and it's like it, it looked like it was close, but. You know, by pausing, I had already known that there was no way, right? Yeah, I just didn't take her abilities into consideration. When yeah, I yeah. And also your own. Remember, there's specific ways you kill people. Mm -hmm. And usually it is not just basic auto attacks. Sometimes you can get away with basic auto attacks when they're like 5 health, right? Yeah. But uh, not in this case, right? Look how low they are. And we'll still say that basic auto attacks can't finish them, right? Yeah, yeah. So um, that's, just, that's just kind of uh, the, 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 the idea you want to be looking at, all right? I'm actually surprised mm -hmm. that um, I'm actually surprised you got so much damage off. To be honest, before she yeah. polymorphed you, she like she ulted first. Do you like watch Lulu? I <laughs> watch Lulu. All right, <laughs> I need to watch Lulu here. So what's going on here? A boom. Do you see it? Yeah. So if you're Lulu, how do you play this better? I mean, you wouldn't even. I'd I'd run away if I was Lulu. Well, I'd polymorph oh, really? then run away. Yeah, polymorph first, right? Yeah. So what did she do before polymorph? She ults and then polymorphs. Well, ulti is not bad, but do you see yeah, this? But... What is this? What is this? Oh <laughs> god! Oh, I didn't even well, see that. Jesus. I don't even know why she queued, right? She she even missed the queue. Like what? I don't, yeah. I don't understand, right? So whatever. And that's but... the other thing. I've like I never watched my games, and like this is legitimately one of the first times I've watched any of my yeah, games. Yeah, yeah. Watching and games is. It's... It's surprising, dude. Like, <laughs> I should be an iron after watching what I watched. Yeah, yeah. Like, here's 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 the good thing about watching games is that you are you're your own biggest critic. No one's gonna help you get past whatever elo you're trying to get to, right? No one's gonna yeah. no one's gonna help you except for yourself. So you have to be like super critical of yourself. Like even when you watch, like even when I watch my replays, and it's to mm -hmm. say my support got gets hooked and insta dies. I'm like, oh shit, I shouldn't have died with him, right? We need to yeah. make sure that we can stop the dragon or something like that. So even yeah. if like your team is doing some crazy shit, we have to make sure you know our gameplay is super clean, right? Right. That's kind of how progress is made. Otherwise, you know, of, of course, everyone gets stuck in this in this rut time and time again. But like, let's say you're tilted and you're like, ah, shit, I wish my teammates were better. You know, it's true that if you had better teammates, you might have won, but it, it doesn't yeah. really help you in the long run, right? Thinking no, about that kind of stuff doesn't help you in the long it's run. It's best so. to like focus on yourself. Yeah, right? yeah, exactly, exactly. Honestly, when I approach when I approach games when I'm when I'm improving, it's like mm -hmm. I don't even care if it's win or loss. I'm like, okay, did I play as perfect as possible or not? Right? Yeah. yeah. So that's kind of um, kind of uh, a good way to approach it. Okay. Cool. But uh, let's keep going here. So it's very much a you see something you could do. Our new habit is let's like. Let's like, you know, have, take time to think about it before we do it, right? Mm -hmm. Let's like, let's take a look at this, for example. 
So I was I was afraid he was gonna get the Drake, so I just wanted to okay. get it and even die for it I'd say it was worth. Okay. But I didn't get the Drake, but I killed the Yi, which is good. One for one. So how do you get the Drake here? Um I should have focused Drake instead of the Yi. Or I should have killed I I, I really don't know in this situation to be honest. Because it's like a 50-50 for me. Like, do I focus the E and then get the Drake? But then I see Garen coming up uh, behind me. So I already knew I made a mistake, but I couldn't back away from it. Right, like, right, so right, right. Too deep. So let's let's like talk about the thought process here, right? So mm -hmm. it's always a it always starts with a you want to do this thing, and then you yep. go do it immediately. All right. So right now it's we want to do this thing, we go do it immediately. And now mm -hmm. our new habit is insert, you know. Think about this before we go do it. So let's say yep. right now you're like, I want to stop this dragon attempt, right? So I want you to like take a second and look at the map and tell yourself this is good or this is not good. Why? Yeah. Well, there's like four of them on the map. And it's only me and Velkos and the other guy near the Lulu is probably dying. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, so yeah, not a good idea. Right, not a good idea. I agree. Boom, yeah. that's it. So it's like, See, the, the thing is, is that you're not, your thinking isn't necessarily incorrect. You should see if you could stop this. Sometimes you can, sometimes you can't. But uh, yeah. you need to make sure that you can before you go do it, right? So, like, mm -hmm. you know, how do we know you can't steal the dragon here, for example? Yeah. Um, because Yi might have smite. <laughs> he's going to smite it, right? <laughs> yeah. So, I don't know how he's supposed to do it. How come you can't kill him? Um, to be honest, when I was going in, I thought I could, like, one shot him. So let's just, let's just, what's the most basic thing Master Yi can do if you try and kill him? Q. Okay, he can Q. Anything else? Kill. Hold up, give, uh, me, uh, give me one second. Someone's at the door. Right. Yeah, cool, cool, cool. Man, I was like the nicest delivery person. Okay. What do you think? Anything else? Um So the Yi What's the yeah, most he's got he's got Q, he's got Hill, um he's think, think like, um, damage. Think like bigger picture. Like or, or sorry, not bigger picture, more basic. Like instead of like Q you, think of like fight. Right? He's gonna try and fight you. What else can mm -hmm. he do? Besides fight you? Uh, he can lead me into them. Okay, yeah, he's gonna he's gonna walk away, right? Yeah. So what do you what are you gonna do if he walks away? I would have probably chased him. Okay, and then you know that's we just, we just die, yeah. right? Because it's two v three. What if you but try and I run could, away? Um, then I took him off the Drake. Uh huh. What's that? What, what's something you mentioned earlier? Uh, what did I say earlier? Who's behind you? To Garen. So, is there a problem with this? There is a huge problem with Garen. Garen is actually the one that carried this game. He was right, really so, <laughs> so if you, if you kind of think about it, right? No action you can take here will result in victory, right? Yeah, so, so there's no point. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So the thing is, is that you can, you can, you can approach this conclusion in Vodder View. How do we approach this conclusion during the game? And this is like kind of when we think about this thing is when, yeah, you, when you have the thought, think about it, right? It's just in the heat of the moment. I don't really. Um, my mind gets a bit scrambled. Exactly. And it's, exactly. It's learning to control it is what make me improve. I guess. Exactly. In the heat of the moment, can you stop and ask yourself, "Is this good?" I guess that's honestly the question you just need to ask yourself: Is is this mm. good? Right. So it's pretty crazy how you killed him, and he almost uh, Volkaz almost stole the dragon. But yeah, uh, you see, like the fallout. Right. What's the fallout of this fight? Everyone's just dying. It's right. Just. And who's throw. getting the kills? Um, the Jinx, which is really bad. Right, Jinx got to shut down. Yeah, so now uh, she's ahead of me in gold. And uh, who killed you? Who, you said Garen carried this game, right? Oh, Garen got a kill, right? Yep. Yeah, dude, he so... was. Garen's fucking busted, dude. He's so broken. <laughs> He's such a brain dead champ to play. I don't get it. I really don't. I don't understand.
So if you think about like result, let's say like results results wise, what happened? What what did they get and what did your team get? Um, so I got a kill on the year. You got a kill on they the year. They got That's Drake. Cool. They got Drake. Yeah, I guess they got Drake. They got the Velkos. Who got Velkos? It's very it's very specific, right? Because if Lulu gets it, we don't give a shit. But uh, yeah, Jinx got it, I and mean, then she got shut Jinx. down. Yeah, <laughs> Jinx got it, and there was a shutdown, right? Yeah. Oh exactly. God. And uh, Garen got a kill, which is okay. We'll just say it's okay, right? So mm -hmm. you're thinking about it's it in just okay. like a in like a bubble. It's just both ADCs got a kill, but Jinx got more, and they got mm -hmm. a dragon, and mm -hmm. their top laners ahead, right? So you see how yeah. you know it seems like so, a small thing. We got the best result possible from the decision you made, but it was like it was still not good by a lot, right? No, yeah, it was definitely not worth. So it's very much. Uh, it's not that you're doing. 50 different things wrong. It's that you have an idea of you want to do something like this. Check it out, right? You, you're like, I want to hit this tower. Right? Mm -hmm. And then you go do it immediately, right? That's, mm -hmm. the, that's the promise. We need to have a section in between these two things to make sure this is a good idea. Yeah, just right? put a, another level on it, on the thought process. Exactly, exactly. Not just go in, not thinking blind. Just, you know, think about it. Is it worth what's going to happen? Yeah. Exactly. The thing is... The thing is, like, I think like this, but it's just in in game. I can't for some reason. I just get either too frustrated to keep my uh, thought process normal, or uh -huh, uh -huh. I don't know what it is to be honest. So here's the trick I did: is when I find myself having the same problems you did. You know what mm -hmm. I did is I'm like, I want to hit this tower. I want to push this wave. I'll mm -hmm. AFK my tower until I figure it out whether it's good or not. It does not matter That's how true. long it takes because the more the more the more you can do this, the faster you can do it. So even though yeah. it might take you like five or ten seconds at first, you get to the point where it takes you like half a second. Or at our level, right? It's like literally, you know, instinctively, this is good, this is not good, right? Yeah. Once you yeah. think about it, so you want to, you know, you need somehow try and figure out any kind of extreme way to train this though, because uh, okay. it won't get better unless you do, right? Yeah. And like, let's say for example, you're trying to win, so you're like, we need to be decisive. I need to do this Baron, otherwise you're gonna lose. That's kind of like the the wrong way to approach it, in my opinion, because sure you might win or lose off the Baron call, but did it help you with your decision making in the next game? Yeah, it's too big of a risk. Yeah, if you're like, oh, we walk up, we try to hit this, and Master D comes out, or Guarantee P's behind you, or whatever. Mm. And over here, for some reason, big I'm feels rotating. Bad. Yeah, big feels bad. Okay, we go mid, sure, sure. Oh, okay, let's watch this. This is 4v4, right? Mm-hmm. Oh baby, let's kill this guy. Very nice. We have ulti in two seconds. Oh <laughs> is he his Jax? He used the Ari as like a fucking <laughs> a stepping stone to stun him. That was creative, I like it. Uh, it hurts when you have teammates like this on your team. It really does. Well that was a, that was a good stun, you know? Hey, it was good, but remember what happened earlier when he dove turret? Mm-hmm. Remember what happened earlier when you dove turret? Yeah, yeah, I can't really <laughs> say much, can I? <laughs> oh man. Okay, okay, let's keep going. Very nice. Oh, I'm gonna kill this guy too, right? Mm-hmm. And Garen is uh, doing some interesting things. Oh, you need a. Uh, you're not gonna get him, right? Oh, feels bad. Yeah, I'm not gonna get him. Like, how did I know you were not going to get him? You saw Lulu on the map, I guess. Or he is Garen and he doesn't die ever. No, how do you do damage? Remember? Mm hmm. How do you do My damage? Stats. Okay. How else? My W, my Q, and my all attacks. So, if you take a look at this picture, mm hmm. I have no cooldowns, nothing up. Uh huh. He's still got like 500 health. How about, uh, let me pause at a better time. Mm hmm. Oh, this picture. How come we're going to I queued him, and then out of nowhere, Lulu came and shielded him and got like a thousand health back. What'd you tell me Somehow. about your, what'd you tell me about your Q? Uh, oh, I focused the Raptors, didn't it? Yeah, that's yeah. If you really wanted to kill him, 
I should have flashed and thank you. Right? Hey, there it is, right? So Dang. very much knowing exactly where your damage come from is very important, right? Because if you really yeah. wanted this, you'd be like, you have to flash in this corner and kill him, right? Mm -hmm. Before Lulu gets here or, or whatever, right? So that's mm -hmm. that's kind of the something you might be missing as well is when you're trying to kill people, you know exactly how you how you how you're trying to do it, right? Yeah. So let's keep going though. Um, is this does that does that kind of make sense? Does that help? Yeah. Yeah, it's actually helped out a lot. You gave me a lot of advice I didn't know before, which is good. good. Oh, you're dead yeah. here if you're not careful. Feels bad, man. Did I die here? Yeah, I think I died here. Back it up, back it up. Yeah, let's take a look at this. What do you think? It's just stupid, really. I wasn't near my team. I tried to 2v1 EE and a Garen. Um, I didn't kite. Didn't kite, right? Mm hmm. I so just stood in front you, of him. Yeah, how would you uh, approach this differently? Just try and kite better, I guess. But the thing is, I, I'm not really that good at kiting. Like, on certain champs, I am. Like, uh, Draven or like Ezreal, right? But all attack champions, like Kaiser, when she gets her attack speed, I just want to stand there and just attack them for some reason. Like, I can't be bothered to move. Hmm. That's interesting. Hmm. If you want to work on kiting, you know, is uh, open up the practice tool and work on moving after every hit. Right? Yeah. Like, click close to your champion after every hit. That works. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, if you want to work on kiting, you can do that. But let's just, like, let's just talk about this section here, right? So, like, you know... Based on our discussion today of, you see, like, you want to do a thing. Mm -hmm. We say, now our new habit is we should stop to think about it and then come up with a way to do it slash, this is, does this make sense, right? So the thing yeah. we're trying to do here is we want to fight, right? Yep. So let's stop and take a moment to think about this. What do you think? What happens if you hit Master B? So if I go in and I use my Q... It's not going to be enough damage to kill him, obviously. I haven't really taken account to what items he has as well. So that's another thing. I don't really look at the items that people are buying. So I didn't really know he had life still. Um, another thing... I mean, there's a Garen there as well. But to be honest, the only reason I went in is because my entire team was there as well. And I thought they could follow up without me dying. And I could get out somehow. Mm, is there any anything wrong with that idea? Mm, yeah, there's quite a lot wrong, but it could also go right. That's why I went in. It's like a gamble, you know. You could kill them or you couldn't kill them. Uh, it's like a fifty-fifty. If you right click you and press his Q, how many times do you win out of a hundred? Probably none. Yeah, zero, right? So that's yeah. how we know that it's not really a gamble. Because remember, like what what we're trying to get to, like platinum, right? We'll say, like what's our what's yeah. our goal here? We're trying to climb. So what happens? Oh, you want to know my actual goal? <laughs> oh yeah, what's the what's the goal? Dude, I want to get into Challenger LCS. Yeah. So let's say, yeah, that's that is you know, even though it might be far for now, that's like yeah. a good you know having a high goal is good. Like let's say you do this against an LCS player, would you tell me that this is fifty fifty still? No, of course not. And an LCS player wouldn't do this. Exactly. So that's that's what we're looking for here. Is is where it's never really in solo queue it's never really it could happen or it couldn't it's you mm -hmm. know what the result is before it happens yeah. because you've seen it before how many times have you seen messi just run you down right yeah 100 yeah. percent of the time you just lose mm -hmm. right so yeah, that's exactly. kind of the that's kind of what we're looking for here is okay i want well, you to I'll... come up with these plans like right. we're gonna do, try and do something and you, you need okay. to figure out a way to make it 90 percent good otherwise cool. you, you don't do it Right. All right. So like, yep. so for me, I would be like, I need to hide in this bush until I figure out what's going on. Right. Mm -hmm. We we can't walk out and hit this guy because he's just gonna run you down. Right. And you can't you can't yeah. stop that. So that's kind of what we're we're missing here is you know making sure that this this actually works. Right. Uh, before you go do it. Like for example, you you told me you're gonna try and stop dragon, and mm -hmm. he might not have smite, and so you might be able to kill it. So that you might think it's like you know there's a chance, but in reality, there is no it's chance. Just, right? yeah, he's yeah, gonna smite it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. He's gonna smite it, right? So that's like that's like playing playing thinking like your your enemies are bronze or something, right? It doesn't it doesn't really work out in the long run. So yeah, you want to kind of 
play in a way where they can always, you know, they, they play the best they physically can, and you can still beat that. That's what you're looking for, right? Okay. Because no matter what they do, you still win. So that's kind of, uh, that's kind of like the, 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 the standard you want to be looking at when you're making your plays, right? So like, for example, yeah. you know, when you dove tower on that Jinx and Lulu, if they were bronze, you were killing them. Does yeah. that make that play good? Yeah. No. No, that's... right? In bronze, I would, not, I would not train myself to play that way because, you know, when you get out of bronze, he's going to polymorph you first and then ulti and it's like, oh, shit, we're fucked, right? Yeah, and exactly. It, it's yeah. impossible to win, so. Yeah, that's, see, that's the other thing. Like, you think every um, low elo, elo player is, like, brain dead. So you don't really expect them to do the shit you see in pro play. Well, they don't do shit in pro play, but they're not bronze, basically, is what I'm saying. And, um, yeah, sometimes you don't expect them to play good. That's why you go in. But um, I guess I should nev never, never like yeah, yeah, assume yeah. stuff. Yeah, no, no, never, never assume, never assume that, right? It's like, yeah, I'm gonna go in because I'm gonna assume she's gonna like ult the wrong guy. Right? <laughs> it's like, yeah, that doesn't yeah. make any sense, right? Like, if you want to make those kind of assumptions, it's like I'm hiding in this bush and she can't dodge point blank Malphite ulti, even if she yeah. has flash. That's yeah. that's you want to you want to do something like that where you can't beat that. Like, you put yourself as that standard. Right. Okay. If you can't do it, they can't do it. That's the that's okay. the that's the level of play you should expect from them, right? Cool. But if you think like if you walk up to them as Ari and you're gonna charm flash them and it's really obvious, you know, you should expect them to dodge it, right? To uh mm -hmm. to flash or something. So let's back it up here. How did how do we get in this situation? Oh, we're trying to hit the tower. Feels bad man. Yeah, again with the turrets. So uh See, I'm I'm taking pointless damage for no reason. Right, right, right. And uh, you know, you might lose Baron off it, right? Because uh, if you die or get chunked out, they're gonna just ward Baron. Your team face checks. You know, is is a story you've heard before, right? Yeah. So, what's the problem here? I mean, like, uh, if you go back a bit, like ten seconds, you can see I was trying to attack the minions as Zeraph was walking up to me. And I shouldn't have done that. I should have let the minions push up a bit more and like get close to my turret. If that makes sense. Right. And then right. they couldn't have collapsed on me and I might not have died. Right, right. Because I have no there's no vision on the map, so we don't know where anyone is, right? So based on our all... based on our discussion today, what what tell me like the thought process in terms of this happens. My, the habit kicks in, so you play differently, right? Because mm -hmm. from like we we want to change the way you play in the sense of don't think different things. Think one more thing on top of it. Right. right? right. So what were you trying to do here? I was an autopilot at this point. I wasn't really thinking. Yeah. See, that's it. Is that we have a problem? We have a problem already. We don't know what we're trying to do here. Yeah. Right? So I want you to. I want you to. You know come up with what you're trying to do before you go do something. Because it seems mm -hmm. like we go do things without figuring it out first. And then we get in trouble because the thing we we're trying to do, it didn't, it didn't make sense in the first place, right? So, yeah, exactly, yeah. So let's say we're playing on autopilot here. What, what was your autopilot trying to tell you? What were you trying to do here? Get turret, get minions, um, get kills. Yeah, yeah. You were trying to hit the tower, right? So yeah. what could go wrong here? They could come out from that bush on the left ah this one i've seen this before yeah. he flashes over the fucking wall and you're dead right <laughs> <laughs> yeah exactly i mean have yeah. you i've seen, seen that before right so yeah i mean they could come from anywhere at this point because mm -hmm. we have literally no vision so let's even say they just up, let's just say they're like under tower mm -hmm. right is there a problem with this yeah because they could i mean they got a zeraf <laughs> they have Zerath. He's just yeah, gonna, yeah. you're just gonna kill the minions, right? So, yeah. uh, you just need to take your time to think about this, this stuff, and then, okay, you, you, you obviously figure it out. Like you said, you know, he's gonna flash over the wall. I agree. Garen's gonna flash over the mm -hmm. wall with Lulu. You got a problem, and then yeah. Zerath's gonna wave clear the wave. So, how can you get the tower? You can't, right? So, no. it's not that you shouldn't think about hitting it. You should. You say, can I attack this tower? Because if you see Zerath up here, and then you're like, me and Ari can beat Garen. You can hit this tower. Right, right, but uh, you know, you need to you need to do this this kind of check this this thinking phase, you know, after you get the thought to do this attack or whatever whatever you're trying to do. Yeah, right? do this in the game. So like after every situation. Yeah, every time you're trying to do something, okay, this is when you you do this thinking phase, and then say yes or no. This makes sense, right? 
Mm -hmm. And if it's a yes, it has to always work. Like yeah. in solo queue, it works with 90% of the time, right? Which is why yeah. when you see people smurfing at lower ranks, it's like, how do they always win? Is because the things, the things we do, it always works, right? Yeah. We're not doing anything fancy. We're just doing the stuff we know is good. And it's not something yeah, you guys just have. just to crack stuff. Yeah, exactly. Like, you know, Zareth is going to ult you. Why? Because if he hits you once, it's good for them, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, so he, he doesn't have to think at all, right? It's just we were kind of, we might be putting ourselves in a spot where it's easy for them to play. And then, like, what is Garen doing here? Check it out. What, what is Garen doing here? <laughs> Trying to kill with Jax. Well, what, what, is he, what, is he, what is he doing here? Check it out. From his so perspective. He's just so he's just trying to go for the Ari, and Jack um, comes up and kills him. But right, so... um, the, the thing is about Garen that really like triggers me is he can just int and still win because he's just so tanky. Like right here, for example, right? He's trying to kill the Ari. He's pushed up a lot. He's uh -huh. got full health. All right. Dies to the Jacks. Okay, right. that's good. But, right. you know, he just comes back in 30 seconds and he does the same shit again until... Right. Why, <laughs> why can't you punish? What happened? No armor pen, I guess. Well, why can't you physically punish this? Um, because he's too tanky. No, 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 no. Like right now, right after he dies. Let's say a punish is like, I get farm. Or you're going to take tower. Or you're going to do baron. Or you're going to get baron control. Whatever. Why can't you physically mm -hmm. do any of these? I mean, I'm, I'm dead. So I can't do anything. There my it is, team, right? My team you're dead. Thinking. <laughs> yeah, I'm dead. Why yeah. can't your team do anything? Because they're brain dead. Well... Think about it, think about it, like, why, why can't they do anything? So let's say you die, and then enemy top dies. Why mm -hmm. can't your team do anything? Um, because it's still a 4v4. Exactly, it's still a 4v4. And no so, yeah, yeah, exactly, so it's 4v4, so they can't really do anything, right? It's not easy. Let's say, let's say you kill three people by yourself. Now your team is, now they can just do whatever the hell they want, and it's winning, right? Yeah. So you see, you see like, the point I'm trying to get at, though, right? Yeah, yeah, I, I get, it, yeah, I get how do we it. how do we punish this shit, right? It's like, oh, we need to make sure that we can punish by ourselves. Is mm -hmm. you can you can solo punish. You kill this guy as a team. Yeah, that's like you get to farm this, you get to push, you get to ward Baron. Boom, all by yourself. Yeah, that's pretty good, right? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. But you don't you can't really get the chance unless you know okay. you're alive. So that's kind of how you want to approach things. Remember that our, our our standard for ourselves needs to be what you want to be at right they say you want to be challenger okay everything you do in game is it challenger level if it's not you got to work on it right yeah so, so that's kind of that's my hmm? main problem just um not going in at the right time well it's not in, a, not in a sense i would say it's just you go in at the you just go in immediately every time that's kind of like the problem right yeah okay. so you need to be you need to be more you can say be like oh be more patient but that doesn't really that doesn't really help you right you need to, mm. you need to come up with a way to be more patient right so mm -hmm. it's good to have these 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 things you want to do. We need to make sure it works before you do it. Right. right. Okay. Like for example, cool. I, yeah, I, I don't know sense. I don't know what you're trying to do here, but you know, what, what was I thinking when you were walking up in this in this corner? Um. Again, uh, no vision. They could be in that bush. No, oh, exactly. Mm -hmm. So, oh, Zara's coming. Zara's gonna stun you, and you insta die, right? So, but then what am I meant to do? Am I meant to just like stay on my side of the map and not push in because there's no vision? Like, is there no way for you to check the bush? Uh, there was until I warded the other bush. Well, how about without awards? Oh yeah, with your W, yeah. Boom! Right there we go. And and, and on 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 that topic, right? You're like, oh, how how am I supposed to ward? Whose job is it to ward? The support. So support and jungle, right? So you just oh, you need to wait for them to. Gain control. Or let's say you see that if the only thing that can kill us is Zerath and he shows top, then you can go ward, mm -hmm. right? But you yeah. see how like there are ways, you know, of course you can't just run it down into their side of the jungle and, and figure everything out, but there are ways to slowly approach these areas to ward, right? Okay, cool. So that's like kind of step the idea. by step. Yeah. Yeah, okay. exactly. Let's say for example, you think Zerath is gonna poke you where you're trying to push. So you're gonna be dancing left and right as you push this. Right, mm -hmm. and you stay out of his E range. Therefore, there's no way they can stop you. Yeah, right? no. You see how that works? Okay. Yeah, I get. So, I get how that of, works. Yeah, that's, so that's this a, game basically. Yeah, it goes like this until the end. I just try and go in immediately, and I die every time. Right, right. There's one game I uploaded where I played Draven, and I went twenty to five. Um, I was not sure how the hell I was meant to win that game. Right, let's take a look. It was it was too weak, man.
Let's go to the mid game stuff then. Um, yeah. See what's going on here. So I get really fed. So in terms of like habits, mm -hmm. it will very much be the exact same thing we've been seeing, right? Because you know the reason why it's it's like um, the reason why it's hard to kind of uh, climb or de rank is because you know you're gonna play the same way every game, right? Mm -hmm. So habitually speaking, we're gonna see. I I'm expecting to see pretty much the same the same ideas, right? Yeah. Is we see some kind of attack or something we want to do, we we'll immediately go do it. And then something bad could happen, right? Yeah. Um, oh man. So over here, this I don't spicy. know what we're doing. Yeah. Oh, well, we're looking for some free kill. Oh, chasing feels bad, man. Monka S. What do you think here? I think it was pretty good. Mm hmm. So if you insta died, if I were so you I and I insta died at my ELO, why is that? So I don't I don't understand the question. Let's if say let's say you can die here. How? Um, if they all focused me. Who 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 specifically? Remember, it's like it's like specific stuff, right? Like um, if we talk about Jarvan? like uh, is that Jarvan? That's uh, that's Udir. Oh yeah, yeah. Sorry, the screen's a bit blurry, so I can't. Oh really yeah, see so it's it's hard to tell, right? Yeah. Um. Yeah. I don't know, they could just focus me, I guess, right? So, how does Udyr kill you? With his tiger. Yeah, <laughs> yeah have you not been 3-shot by Udyr before? I've been 3-shot by yeah, Udyr before. Yeah, I have. It's, it's Are you horrible. not scared? He's right next to you, yeah. Yeah, dude. And then, uh, There's like a trick 2G in every game I play. Yeah, exactly. And then, you know, we got like a, we got like a Heimerdinger here, right? So, mm -hmm. you know, is there a problem with this? Yeah, you could just get bursted down, ulted, rockets in the face. Yeah, yeah. So, oh, how do we play this correctly then? How do we play it in such a way that it's impossible for them to win, no matter what rank they are? So you just wait until they focus other people, and then you just attack from the back line. Yeah, exactly. Like, oh, what, how? What's the problem? We have bear stance plus comboed with Heimerdinger. So the instant he attacks someone else, we hit, we kill the Udyr, and then we flash the Heimerdinger or whatever, right? That way, mm -hmm. it doesn't matter who they are, you win. Right? Yeah. You see how that works? So. That's kind of what you're what you're going for here, but uh, this Udyr like I don't know what this Udyr is trying to do, but uh, like you got yeah, hit by a I... bunch of random stuff and you already have health, <laughs> right? So exactly, yeah. That's the this is the stuff you wanna you wanna be watching out for, right? Is cool. you are trying to do a thing, but don't forget they're also gonna try and do something, right? Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Um, so sure, we're taking him. We uh, if we lose this kind of game, we uh, somehow. Got caught <laughs> in a team it fight. Was, yeah, it was near the end. We just threw hard. Okay, okay. Some some random fighting going on. Sure, sure. Okay, if you need to like end the game, okay, let's talk about this real quick. If you need to end the game, how do you do it? Um, you push me to group five, kill them all, or, and get Baron because we already got in here. So get we Baron, went for Baron, right? You don't. Yeah. Yeah. You get Baron, right? So, uh, what happens if you don't get Baron? Then they have a chance to come back. With yeah, picks. just yeah, it's stalling the game out, right? So, yeah. you know, what's the problem here? I mean, I wanted people. to go Baron, but my team didn't, and okay. obviously I can't solo uh, Baron. How do we know so, that you didn't really want to do Baron here? Because I'm not there, pinging it. You're not pinging it. And which direction are you going? <laughs> In the opposite. You're going bot, right? You're trying to yeah. clear the wave. So mm -hmm. th that's the thing is that you want to do this, you instantly ping it right after that guy dies, right? right. Otherwise, mm -hmm. how will your team know? Your team won't know, right? So yeah. that's, the, that's the kind of, you know, if there's like a fast and easy way to close out these games, they're in control. You don't even have to do it. You just need to fucking put words on it so they face check, right? Yeah. So that's kind of, that's kind of what we're seeing here. Yeah. yeah, 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 exactly, exactly. So this is a bunch of, it's like a normals game. Everyone's running around killing people, but... You know, yeah, yeah. we're flashing for this, but you know, the the Baron, the Baron's the important part, right? So, mm -hmm. oh, you took so much damage. Okay, ass. Ah, uh, didn't kill that one. So it's like this is like the same thing, right? Mhm. Mm so like if we kill their team, let's say we kill this guy, and then we go Baron here. What can they do? They can't really do anything. 
Yeah, they, they have to. I mean, we haven't got the, have have the jungler, but I could kill them all if they. Yeah, come. yeah, exactly. So they have to be afraid, right? But what happens if you mm -hmm. flash over here? <laughs> then I'm in. <laughs> this is the, this is the part we need to talk about. Is you would think we're trying to do something here? Did you mm -hmm. make sure it works before you did it? With ninety percent certainty. I was fifty percent. So okay, so it's, it's, it's not good enough, right? So I, like no. actually ninety percent, like ten percent is like some random bullshit happens okay like you lag or something like yeah <laughs> right so that's that's what we're looking for so like if we know we know that you know how do we know you can't get this guy oh it's because you know it's not clear yet it's not 90 percent clear mm -hmm. remember this is your chance to these, these are your tools to win the game and if you use it on you know suboptimal chances then how can you win the game right yeah true, then it's like true. rolling then it's like you know rolling flipping flipping a coin Mm -hmm. Which is what's going, kind of what's going on here, right? So, the plays you make, it's good you're looking for it. It's very good you're looking for it, right? Yeah. Now you need to make sure that it works and they can't do anything about it before you do it, right? Yeah. Only so exercise. only do it if you're certain. Yes, yes, yes. And it's not like, yeah. I promise you, you know, you'll be like, oh, what if I can't find anything in game? No, in solo queue, they're going to run it down and you're going to kill them. And that's free, mm -hmm. right? I, pr I promise yeah. you. Did you not see that, like... A hundred times in the last two replays, we actually saw it like at least thirty times, right? Where yeah, some true, one dude true, is running true. it down, and you get something for free, and that's it, <laughs> right? That's it. So, yeah, that's the thing. We don't punish off a kill, off a pick. Right, right. Or, or you run it down first, so you you can't. Right? Yeah, so exactly. that's that's what you're looking for. Like, look, look at this. Like, oh, he ran it down. Is this ninety percent certainty? This is ninety mm -hmm. percent certainty to me, right? Yeah, so, exactly. Yeah, yeah that's that's <laughs> yeah. What you're looking for is freebies, right? Um, yeah. so don't ruin, don't ruin your own chance to get freebies, which is if you, okay. if, if you run it, if you try and do something and it doesn't work, that's ruining your chance. Right. So to speak. So, yeah. Okay. So this doesn't look good, right? Monka S. This is, yeah. this is how we throw for sure. Mm -hmm. Oh, maybe Should we're baiting. Oh no, oh, we're good now. Yeah. Hey, we got out. That's really good. We figured out that it was not good. We started cutting. Oh, we should stop chasing. <laughs> we should do the pairing, right? <laughs> I was just PMing them. Nah, you're basic. No! <laughs> oh, oh, thank God. Oh my God. Holy shit. Good, 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 good. <laughs> it's a little bit late, but we fucking did it. Oh, thank God. Yeah. yeah. You just need like when you kill them, you need to think. What's the best thing I can get? All right, that's like another habit you can insert here. It's just think about the Baron. It's not that you, it's it's the same thing we're talking about today. Okay, mm -hmm. is you kill someone, you think about doing the Baron. Make sure it's good before you actually do it. Right, it's the same thing. Yeah. You want to do a thing, make sure it, it works slash ninety percent of the time it's gonna be good, and then and then you can do it. Otherwise, don't do it. Right. Okay. So, cool. And in our case, wording will always be good. Ninety percent will always be good. Right. Wording the yeah. Baron. So yeah, that's you can at the very thing. least. My vision is terrible. Like. But really bad uh here's the easy tip right buy a pink word mm -hmm. put it on the pit that's it <laughs> for, oh, for dragon and baron that's you know for yeah. adc that's good enough right and it's funny like this game we lost because they had the garen as well it's every game man garen sounds like you have some ptsd from that champion D dude i've been through a lot <laughs> <laughs> you've seen some I mean, shit I huh yeah i've seen some shit i've played adc for like the past three years and um yeah, I haven't improved. It's been like a mental block to me, but this yeah, why, is open my eyes. This, why did this Garen kill you? What do you think? That's why I just I, I shouldn't have been there in the first place. Let's watch this for comedic purposes. All right. <laughs> what do you think? It's just not gonna happen, is it? I'm not gonna kill him. He's got his old um, <laughs> true damage thing on me. Yeah. Did you also see the other unfortunate thing that happened? Check it out. The silence. You tried to hit him. What happened to your mouse? Mm. Yeah, true. What happened? My mouse. So in this frame, in this still frame, can you see what you're clicking on? Yeah, just below him. You were trying to click on him, right? Mm-hmm. So here, here's a fix that I use is I attack move. When there are moving is that parts. The a and left click right yeah right. A and left click because this will happen where you will sometimes actually misclick 
Yeah. And you run into him on accident. You weren't you weren't actually trying to move into him. I know I know you're trying to attack him. So yeah, and yeah, this, I wasn't this, trying to play into him. You know? Yeah, yeah, exactly. This is why first person perspective is very important, right? So mm -hmm. we can see what you're trying to do. Um, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Here's like a uh, if there's like a mechanical habit you can work on, it's a click and then move immediately, right? Do you know what that looks cool. like? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop. So it's the uh, circle which shows you the punch, right? No, 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 no. Like what I mean by that is. Every time you move, every time you attack, I want you to move. Right. You see, okay. you see what we're you see what we're doing here. Mhm. Mm You're oh, moving forward. Yeah. Any any as, any forward backward doesn't really matter, right? We want to move after an, an attack. Let me see. If this is like relevant. Mhm. Mm oh, I remember this. This is not a fight. Press forward. Nice. Nice. I see some action here, please. <laughs> yeah, this should work. I mean, this is this is whatever. Yeah, but I, I get what you mean. Like you move as you attack, right after you yeah. attack. Move right, right after, after you like, attack. Instantly. Yeah. yeah, instantly, instantly. Okay, cool. And attack move will help you in the case of you're not sure if you can click on him. You should attack mm -hmm. move, right? Right. So that way you won't accidentally right click into them. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, unfortunate. Do you think that stalled the game out? It has. They've had the chance to come back. All right. What happened to your I mean, Baron? We're still ahead. We've lost it. <laughs> Why, well, what happened to your Baron? And what is your team doing mid now? They didn't do anything with the Baron. And my team is still mid for some reason. All right. So your team's trying to 45. You lost yeah. time on the Baron. Right? So th these things all add up into... Yeah. They come back into the game and they win because they're... <laughs> their 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 comp is actually scaling, right? So yeah, you're gonna have a uh, you're gonna have a problem against Caleb Morgana later in the game and Hyperdinger yeah. even to an extent. Oh no! Okay. Yeah, we going. we had the early game, but late game, yeah, they go. Okay, well. Let me watch this. Oh man, you flashed after him. <laughs> Not <laughs> like this. Him, Not like this. I think. Yes. See, that's a that's an LCS play right there. Yeah, you definitely don't want to do that, right? <laughs> <laughs> no. Remember, it has to be 90% certain, right? Yeah. And you have to say it's good. So, like, you might be 90% certain that you can kill him, but I would mm -hmm. also think that killing him isn't even good for your... Isn't, isn't, isn't even worth your flash, right? Yeah, um, yeah. But that's, that's, like a, that's like a different topic. I don't think... It's not that important right now, but usually speaking... What's worth your flash is like killing a carry in the late game, right? Otherwise, yeah. or or winning a team fight. Otherwise, um, you're gonna you're gonna end up losing. Like, uh, oh, this feels bad. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I knew I was dead anyway, so I just. All right. So what's the, what's the what's the what's the problem here? What do you think? I went the other direction. Well, even if I went down, the Morgana, Remember, the Morgana would have killed me. Remember our thought process. What are you trying to mm -hmm. do? Is this good? Is this ninety percent good? Do it or don't do it. Yeah. So, okay. step one is, what are we trying to do? I'm just trying to kill the Garen. Boom. Can we kill this guy 90% of the time? No. I don't think so. Probably like 30%, 20%. Probably. He walks away, what do you do? So it's 0%, right? Yeah. So the basis is always he walks away, right? So, that's it. Is that This doesn't make sense. So, what, so the, you're not trying to kill him. You're trying to do something else. Mm -hmm. like, oh. Then we figure out, can we kill the minions? And then no, we're going to get run down by... Moby's Morgana, right? Or can we yeah. chunk out Garen? Same thing. We're gonna get run down by Moby's Morgana, right? Uh, mm -hmm. or, or something like that, right? So you see how it always starts with you. Remember, you try and verbalize what you're trying to do, and right. then verbalize this works or doesn't work because of this. Okay. And then cool. proceed with it or don't proceed with it, right? Because right cool. now it's kind of you're you're doing the thing you see immediately. I mean, that's like yeah. where your that's where your problems are coming from. So, yeah, I'm not thinking about it. Yeah, yeah. So we we haven't really seen any kind of mechanical errors. If anything, it was just like, oh, attack and move, right? But that, you know, even if you had perfect mechanics, do you think that mm -hmm. these games would be different in terms of in terms of result? N not really, still... because it's yeah, it's my you know, it's my decision making. That's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It's it's very common. It's very common where most ADC mains the mechanics are quite good actually, right? It's yeah. just the the decision making and and what you're trying to do. The ideas are, are what's what's the problem, right? So, mm -hmm. I mean, you're playing Draven. <laughs> you have the mechanics enough to play Draven at this ELO, right? So it's not like yeah. you're dropping axes or anything. 
it's no. like you know we're just uh we're just dying somehow right mm -hmm. okay fast forward so yeah, this, and, uh, was a, this was a 50 minute game. game so Jesus. like the last five minutes is where we threw hard this is just all stall this is all boring stuff yeah let me see um let me see some big ideas because i think we're almost out of time but let's oh, see all right, cool. 19 kills, Jesus. Yeah. Okay. Oh my. Free kill, right? Also dodge the hibernate. Oh, you're dead. Kills bad man. Look how many traps she put on me, like. <laughs> was that was yeah, that necessary? True. And, and, yeah, that's true. What do you what do you think? What do you think about this section? It's just a bad yeah. Bad decision okay. making again. Well this this is mechanics, I would say. This is like mm -hmm. Omega late game. Yeah. So I wanted to kill her with my E and then get out. And then um unfortunately I died to the Kaylin and everyone else. Did you die to Kaylin? Who did you die to? Did I die to Kaylin? Who did I die to? The Udir. Why, why can't you walk away from Kaylin? I was rooted. So, how'd you die? Uh Kaylin. Did the root not matter? Is that not the first? Of course time? it did. Yeah, of course. <laughs> but uh, I should have got QSS. No. I want you to pretend like you're playing Morgana here. Okay. What's the first thing you're gonna do out of Zanya's? Um, Q. I agree. Anything else? Uh, puddle. No, I, I would not puddle. I don't, I mean, you would puddle out of Zanya's? I would be. I, hell no. <laughs> I would not puddle out of Zanya's. Dude, I'm I crazy, man. I'm God telling out. you. Um, yeah, I'd queue and then I'd run away. Okay. So, how would you run away here? If you walk away, you're just dead, right? Yeah. So, I'd queue and then flash. Yeah, exactly. Right? So, mm -hmm. if I were you playing Draven, now how would you, how would you play this? So. What I did was wait for uh, Zonius to come down and then E. And which you just I stood did. still, right? And I stood still, yeah. I didn't run away. I didn't do nothing. But her her Q came at me instantly, dude. Like, I couldn't time that shit. What to do you dodge mean? It. It's the easiest thing to time, right? You know it's going to come out right after the Zonius is over. And yeah. What happens if you just run in a straight line? True, true. Do you not have any? Do not have any movement or? abilities? Yeah, let me show I you do. some examples here. All right, so let me see. Let me see here. Uh, how about? Where is my which example? One sec, one sec. Oh, this one. Tell me if this is the same or not the same as what we just saw. Okay. Yeah, essentially. It's the same thing, I mean, right? You, yeah, but you do you dodged everything. So how did how did I dodge it? You moved. <laughs> Well, how do we know Mazira is gonna shoot? When is, how do we know when Zyra is gonna root? Similar to how um, do we know Morgana is gonna fire a Q? When you appear out of vision and go in range of a root, right? Like yeah, instantly, yeah. then. Yeah, yeah, exactly. We know exactly when she's gonna throw it, right? How do yeah. we know? It's because she panics. That's what people who panic do, right? So yeah. same with Morgana. You know, it's exactly she's gonna throw it out exactly after the Zonis is over. So mm -hmm. come up with a way to beat it. You can do whatever right. you want. You can say, I press W on Draven. You can heal, blade the ring, King flash. It doesn't matter, right? Just come up with something. Yeah. Anything that doesn't involve standing still will win, right? Okay. So, yep. you see what I did? Oh, I just walked in a straight line. That's, you know, so I, I, I can figure, I could beat it that way, right? Yeah. So you can do the exact okay. same thing, is walk in a straight line, right? Is you can just actually don't auto attack and dodge sideways. So, this is what we always call dodge first and then attack, right? Because if you don't dodge first, you always lose. So yeah, so I should have moved and then E or Yeah, yeah. You and can then e, e I, I probably would not yeah. E, but I would just, I would just yeah. attack. But whatever, whatever plan you can come up with. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. And Yay. then, yeah, we were going to end it, and then we threw hard, and we lost. I think last team fight yeah, is... Uh... All right, take a look. So yeah, in this uh, situation... <laughs> is that not the same thing? <laughs> Dude, I got so tilted when I died here because I looked at the <laughs> oh, and then she roots me again and I'll die. Oh, is, this not, is this not the same thing? Yeah. What is Morgana going to do? Cue me. Exactly. How do we know? Um, it's just instinct. You know, you know well, she's going to cue. Remember, remember our method for figuring out what your opponent's going to do. Yeah, because she's going to panic. She's gonna throw out Q. Well, right? what, what did uh, what did we, what do we say? Put yourself in their shoes. You're playing Morgana here. What do you do? That's it. Q and yeah. run. Exactly. Pretend all these guys are you, essentially, right? What yeah. would you do in their shoes? Q and run. Right. Exactly. Exactly what I would do, right? No, mm -hmm. it shouldn't really surprise you, right? And only the only yeah. reason it surprises you is because what are you thinking? I'm thinking one shot. I, I just want to kill this guy. That's what you're thinking. Yeah. Right? So that's that's the <laughs> that's the problem, right? You need to make sure. There's like a, a, a buffer of thoughts between what you want to do and then what you actually do, right? Right, okay. So you want to poke this guy, it's good, right? Mm -hmm. Now you make sure you got to solve for her Q first. Otherwise, you die, right? So if you don't solve for it, then it's like, oh, that's just, yeah. that's just a feels bad man, right? You couldn't, it felt like you couldn't have done anything. But in fact, if you had just not done anything, that would have been better, right? Yeah. So that's, yeah. The, that's the kind of standard of play is okay. if I had done nothing, would that have been better? That's how you know you have a problem. Oh. Yeah, instead of risking it and then, you know, losing to them, losing gold, it's not worth, not worth at all. But all right, so, what do you think? What kind of, what are you going to work on after today? What so, definitely I need to prioritize my uh, decision making. Uh-huh. I need to not be 90% certain um, that I'm going to get the kill when I go in. Mm -hmm. um, my attack move, that attack move thing they taught me. Oh yeah, you can practice that too. Yeah, practice that. I feel like my CS is fine. My vision, not so much. Just buy a pink ward and put it, you know, in the pit, like you said. Yeah, that's a dirty trick. Just buy a pink ward and put it in the pit. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah, essentially just um, know what my enemy is going to do and then counter it. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a really good one, too. So, remember, if you have, like you said, you have troubles remembering it in game which a lot of people do right yeah it's like you know it's like it, it's like the uh it's not like the pressure but it's like the um um like in the moment right in the heat of the moment how do we make sure it gets done it's uh remember there's a certain time you do it in game there's a certain trigger right so every time yeah. this trigger happens do this thinking step so for you it would be you want to, you're trying to do something that would be your trigger and then add this yeah. thinking step in Right. So if you have okay, trouble thinking cool. about it in game, remember that you want to attach your new habit to a trigger. Okay. Cool. And I shouldn't just uh, try this straight away in ranked. I should do some normals first, right, to practice um, my decision making. Or would you say just keep playing ranked? Say again. Um. So I was saying, like, should I do this in ranked games? So should I start oh, yeah, off doing yeah. it ranked, or should I just do normals until I get that habit? No, you can totally. You can still play ranked, right? It's yeah. Just... Because I don't. Yeah. I don't yeah, want to waste time with normals. Yeah, anytime, anytime you play League, anytime you watch replays, you can still do this thing, right? Like, yeah. for example, remember when I was watching your replay and you're, I was like, oh, I, I, you can ulti Q here. And I was like, oh, yeah. is, does that make sense, right? Yeah, I, I just ask pause immediately. the video and look at the situation and assess yeah. what the right thing to do yeah. is. Pretend you're okay. playing in, in the shoes cool. of whoever, right? So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. Thank you very much for this. Like, I appreciate no problem, it a lot. No problem. I hope really uh, helped me out. Yeah, I hope your games go really well. I think if you can work on this idea, you uh, I think we'll see a lot less deaths, right? Um, mm. Yeah, definitely. Let me know how the games are going. If you do have yeah, questions or clips, yep, definitely hit me up. I'll upload this to YouTube so you can go back and rewatch. Damn. Thank you, dude. Thanks a lot. Um, and another thing, just like one last question before I go. Yeah, 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 yeah. What would you say by like watching them three games is the highest rank I can get to? Well, if I we don't, improve on what you said. Well, if we have to, I mean, we have to take baby steps, right? You have to fix a lot of, a lot of, let's say we were trying to get challenger. You have to fix a lot of things, right? Yeah. In fact, you might have to fix everything. But let's say we're trying to get <laughs> platinum. This is not, you know, if you can fix this and this never happens again, that's platinum already, right? Okay. So 
it's kind of like improving on you know it's like it's like building like a house right you have to you have to build parts pieces of it first right mm -hmm. and you can't really say you know what's the biggest house i can make i mean i, I don't really know yet like how, how far can we get right yeah so that's kind of the that's kind of what we're we're looking at here so okay but, you know definitely platinum is is already in reach you just need to you know fix this core thing and i think a lot of your problems go away um thank you dude thank you a lot hopefully no i problem, improve no one day i'm challenger i'll hit you up <laughs> you know <laughs> sounds good sounds Bring good oh and also uh, a good way to make sure things are going well is watch your mm -hmm. debts okay yeah and okay. ask yourself did i do did i die doing this habit or not and i think that'll, okay. that'll, that'll be telling whether or not it's uh it's going well so yeah okay cool sounds good <sighs> yep sounds good man thank you no problem, no problem. Then uh, good luck in your games. Thank you, dude. Good luck in yours too. Um, too I, I too hope I. you climb to Challenger, dude. <laughs> because I've watched, I've watched a few Monica of your has... videos. I really enjoy it. So, yeah, good luck. I haven't heard those words like ever. It feels bad, man. <laughs> <laughs> it feels bad, man. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Thank you, dude. I'll, uh, I'll one, leave dude. you to it. Yep. All right. Bye. Peace. Peace.